evening. This is the car that we call Jack. It's a car that drove by itself from San Francisco to Las Vegas. Uh, we had a lot of different people on the driver's seat to experience how it feels. We had journalists feeling the system and they had cameramen recording everything. There's videos online. We have press kit. But we call this car Jack because people come to Vegas to win the jackpot. And we think this is our jackpot, our self-driving car. It went about 950 kilometers, 550 miles. Um, the way this works, or the brain, is, is all the sensors in the front of the car. So this, for example, is a long-range radar, uh, ultrasonic uh, sensor. We have a laser scanner, and then we got a camera, and there's a there's a camera above the mirror. Now these are the they form the eyes and the ears of the car, so to speak. Allows the car to see what's ahead and what's on either sides. And similarly, there's a set of sensors in the back that look in the back as well. So this gives the car its six senses, so to speak. And then we have software algorithms that run in the car in the trunk that controls how the car should react. So the steering and the braking. For example, it maintains the speed limit and it keeps a safe distance from the car ahead. And if the car ahead slows down and much slower than the speed limit, it's smart enough to know that that's much slower, that there's nobody on the left, it pulls over to the next lane, overtakes the car, and then moves back to the right lane. This is a concept car. Uh, we are working, all these cars that you see here, we call all of them as piloted vehicles. They all have the ability to drive by themselves. These are our research vehicles where we are trying to learn how to bring this into production. The gray car you see there, we call that the uh, traffic jam pilot. We think that's the closest to production. We think we'd like to have it less than five years. Before the end of the decade, we'd like to have that in production in the U.S.